Dr. Chesney, thank you for being here with us today to go over the components of your tick preparedness kit. If you would, we would love to hear about what you chose to put in your tick preparedness kit and why. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. I would love to review the tick preparedness kit. So I outline everything about this kit in my book, Preventing Lyme and Other Tick-Borne Diseases. So you can read in detail about it there. But let's go through what the contents are today. So first we have Tick Twister, which I'm gonna show you here, it's, it's in the back. <laughs> These are my favorite tools. I've used tweezers. I used tweezers for a couple of years trying to get ticks out from people. It was so difficult and I've heard horror stories from my patients. So I came across this, it's called Otom the Tick Twister. Um, so this is what the box looks like. Um, they're actually in France and they've got a great technology. I love the Tick Twister. Uh, if you had a tick, you would just put this right under and then twist up and it comes out, the mouth parts come out. Um, pretty easily. So I've gotten great responses from patients using them and I use it in my office all the time. And then we've got a little bag to put that tick right into. So you can save the tick. You can use the pictures in my book to identify the tick, which helps us know which pathogens they're carrying or they could be carrying. So then you can watch out for symptoms of the diseases caused by those pathogens. And then you can send this tick out to get tested. Uh, that also helps because sometimes the tick might not be carrying anything, which is such a relief. But then if it is carrying something, it can help you prepare yourself for the next options, as well as you know, looking for symptoms of those diseases. So I love tickreport.com as well as ticknology.org as two excellent options for tick testing. So next, what are we going to do? So we've removed the tick, we've put the tick in the bag, and now you have this bite wound. So then after a tick bite, you would want to place andrographis tincture onto the bite wound. Um, so I have this tincture from Lyme Core. Uh, andrographis is an excellent herb to use to treat Lyme, but also to use on the tick bite because when a tick attaches, they release feces onto your skin that can contain pathogens like the Borrelia burgdorferi that causes Lyme. And so putting this andrographis on that bite wound and the skin nearby could help uh, prevent further infection. I also get reports that tick bites seem to heal better and be less itchy um, when people use the andrographis. So it's been really great using this. So we've got our andrographis, we've got our tick twister, we've got our bag. And then what's the next step is that you can take homeopathics. So in our little first aid kit here, we've got Leadum. So that's a homeopathic that you can use. And this does not replace a complete comprehensive treatment that may need to happen if you have an acute tick-borne disease. However, it is an excellent choice to use in the beginning if you have this at home before you can call your medical provider Get this going. It's three pellets under your tongue three times a day for three days, and that's to treat the bite itself. It helps your immune system get going in a good direction regarding dealing with possible pathogens. Now, if you had some redness or some swelling around the tick bite, that's where we have apis. So that's another homeopathic, and that uh, will treat some redness, swelling, hot to touch type of a tick bite. Again, it doesn't replace proper treatment. You should be looking out for a Lyme rash, which could be a bullseye, could be a circular oval type solid rash around the bite. And if you do find that, you would need to certainly reach out to your medical provider for further treatment. But uh, if you had a tick bite, you could add that <clears throat> leadum. If you have a tick bite that is red, hot, or swollen, you could do Leadum and the Apis in order to get some acute attention to that bite. And so the last ingredient is the Deer Tick Bite Formula. And so this formula can be used as a prophylaxis after the tick bite. I recommend one teaspoon three times a day on an empty stomach for 30 days for an adult. 
and that can help with killing the pathogens that may be transmitted from a tick bite, as well as helping your immune system and supporting your neurological system, your heart, your liver, your spleen, just, you know, wonderful herbs that can support you during that month's time. And during that month's time, I recommend that you watch for symptoms. So in the book, I discuss all of the symptoms of all of the tick-borne diseases that a deer tick can carry. So it would be important to look out for that during that 30-day period. And if you do notice uh, Lyme rash or any of these symptoms like flu-like symptoms, fever, new joint or muscle pain, new headaches, please do reach out to your medical provider because you may need additional treatment uh, in addition to what you've already done to support your body after a tick bite. And when you talk about additional treatment, what are you referring to? Um, so in acute Lyme disease, I will recommend doxycycline or cefiroxime, and we would just add that to the deer tick bite formula. Um, I also recommend serapeptase, which breaks through biofilm, and we know that uh, Lyme and other um, pathogens create biofilm around them, and this is one of the ways that they hide in the body. In your tick preparedness kit, how many days will a four ounce tincture get you through? Right, great question. So this will get you through a week. So it's a really great kit to have to get you started. And then if you have started this deer tick bite formula, you could always order an eight ounce bottle. Um, probably you'll need two eight ounce bottles to get you through the end of the 30 days. Why is it that you decided to have Lime Core Botanicals produce your tick preparedness kit as well as your tick bite formulas with all of the other choices that you have out there for herbal medicines? Well, Lime Core Botanicals felt like a really natural fit. I've been going to ILADS conferences for about a decade or so, and I remember meeting Mariah at an ILADS conference, I don't even know how long ago at this point, um, and then seeing her there every year, um, connecting over being naturopathic doctors and both having gone to the University of Bridgeport. Um, so, you know, th that was there. And then one year um, I saw Lime Corp Botanicals pop up at one, one of the vendor fairs and it was all the herbs that I was already using because I shared the interest in uh, reading Stephen Buhner's work and looking at how all of those um, natural medicines work that he discusses in Healing Lyme and, and all of his amazing books. So um, I had been using andrographis and Japanese knotweed and cat's claw and all these herbs that Lyme Core Botanicals makes. And so recently coming out with a book, I noticed um, that all of those herbs that are in my deer tick bite formula um, Lime Core Botanicals already was using. So between that and also knowing that Mariah might understand my uh, perspective and my approach in prevention and treating acute tick-borne diseases using also homeopathics, it, it just felt like a natural uh, relationship to discuss the possibility of having Lime Core you know, house my tick preparedness kits. I also really appreciate and respect that Lime Core has good manufacturing practices. For instance, I want to know that my herbs are safe for my patients. Uh, I know that they're tested, they're identified, the species of these herbs are identified, so we know that what we're claiming is in this formula is actually there, um, as well as testing for heavy metals, contaminants, um, as well as uh, microbes. You know, the list goes on, um, but that all felt really um, confidence boosting uh, in my relationship with Lyme Corps.